This is take two of beginner conditioning. Um, we are here with Miss Kennedy and Miss Azalea, and today they are smiling more because yesterday <laughs> we looked so serious in our videos, even though we had a lot of fun. So we're back live, and today is beginner conditioning for gymnasts or dancers um, at a lower recreational level so that they can help develop their strength. Um, so we're gonna get started, and the girls are gonna go back to their spots. You'll hear my voice, but you won't see me very often. Okay, we're gonna do um, 25 jumping jacks. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Good. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good, now we're gonna do punches. When they do their punches, they're gonna pull their arms up to their ears nice and straight, and they're gonna do 25 punches. One, Legs two, squeeze two, together. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Okay, so when they do their punches, they want to make sure that they're, watch Kennedy, high up on their toes, reaching, legs are squeezed, no, just get to high on your toes, high on your toes. So you want the legs squeezed together, and they want to be high on the toes with a squeezed stomach and a squeezed bottom. So sideways, she's going to be nice and straight and tight. Good. Tight. Toes are pointed. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is um, candlestick rocks. This can be a form of conditioning for dancers and gymnasts. Okay. When they rock back, they're going to rock back. They're going to shoot their toes up and come back up to a stand. Go ahead. Rock and shoot and come back up. And they want to keep their big toes squeezed together. Do it again. Go. Rock and shoot and come back up. Big toes together. Ready? Go. Rock and shoot and come back up. Squeezing the knees and feet together, rock and shoot, and come back up. When they do their candlestick rocks, um, turn to the side, Azalea. Okay, move this way. She's going to rock back, shoot up nice and tight, and come back up. Knees over toes, and rock back, shoot up. At the height of that candlestick, they want their toes way up, legs together, and they want to come back up. Okay, one way to practice the candlestick is to lie down on their back. Okay, and they're gonna put their hands underneath their back. And, uh, like you're gonna hold yourself up. Bend your legs. No, you're not gonna put, okay, yeah, go ahead. She's gonna push herself up, elbows in, elbows in, tighter, 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 elbows closer, closer. So they're in front of your shoulders and she's gonna hold herself up in this position. Okay, that's one way to strengthen that body position. They wanna push their hips up and they wanna um, try to straighten their feet right on top of their hip bones. So that's a lying on their back stationary candlestick position. Okay, then they can try to do it with their arms straight down on the floor and still maintain and hold that position. Can you hold it? Can you hold it? Can you hold it? There she goes. And then come down. Okay, so one more time, the candlestick rock. They can do these at home. And they rock back, shoot, and rock up, arms on their ears. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, they're both going to lie on their backs. Um, one of you has to go sideways. Okay, and we're going to do crunches. Okay, for the beginner kids, they want to cross their arms over their chest. Feet are parallel and feet are flexed. Okay, so they want to move them out. They want to make sure their feet don't turn out. Knees are tracking and the feet are straight up. And they're going to do crunches and they're going to do 25. Go. One, one two, two three. three. The head stays up. Four, four five. five Six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. And if moms and dads get in on the action, they can do these together. So Azalea's going to get on her knees and she's going to hold Kennedy's ankles. Hold on, relax your feet. Okay, this time Kennedy's going to actually, she's going to cross her arms and this time she's going to sit all the way up, rolling up with her head first. She comes up one and down, roll up two, they're only going to do ten, three, roll up and roll down, roll down, go slower, four, and five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, 
then they're going to switch. One. One. Roll up, roll down. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, so at first we did crunches. The second time we did sit-ups with partners. The next thing we're going to do is um, a plank. Okay, so the girls are going to get on their um, hands and their elbows. And when they get on their hands and their elbows, their hands, they make it a little triangular shape. So their hands should be closer uh, or, or on top of each other or next to each other. Their elbows should be directly underneath their shoulders. <clears throat> and they're going to go up into a plank with straight legs. <clears throat> if you notice Kennedy, her shoulders are on top of her elbows. She doesn't want to be back like this with her bottom up like a downward dog. And she doesn't want to be in an arch. So they want their stomachs nice and tight. And they want to squeeze their bottom, squeeze their legs together. And they want to hold that plank. And maybe they could sing their ABCs. Go ahead. A, A B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, K, the shoulders. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, <laughs> won't you position. sing with me? And then they come down and they rest. <coughs> And so that's um, strengthening their core, which is going to strengthen their abdominals as well as their shoulders. Um, it keeps their whole body tight from shoulders down to their hips and thighs, and they learn how to really strengthen those muscles by holding. Let's do it one more time. <coughs> and this is a plank. And everybody up. A, B, uh -huh. Wait a minute. What else can we sing? Squeeze. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, let's there. They want to sing Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star, which is the tune for ABCs. Ready? Go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you shoulders. are. Up I'll above the world right so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Good. So that's their plank. Um, to modify that a little bit for students that are a little bit older, they can go into their plank in a push-up position. Okay, so it's the same concept, but they're in a push-up. Their hands are going to be directly underneath their shoulders. Go ahead, get in your push-up position. And they're going to be sucked up nice and tight, bottom squeezed, no saggy bellies, no bottoms up in a downward dog. Although a good position, but not for the plank. Okay, so they want to stay nice and tight. And one thing that you can do, you can apply a little bit of pressure to main, make sure that they maintain that position. And they're going to sing their ABCs again. A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Kennedy's got the giggles, okay? All right, so that's another form of um, a push-up plank or a regular straight arm plank. And moms and dads can do it. I can do it. Um, maybe not as well as they can do it, but I can try. Um, so maybe we all need to condition together at home. By the time this is all said and done, we'll be more flexible and we'll be stronger. Okay, the next thing that they can do, um, we're going to do push-ups. And we're going to do a modified push-up. We're going to do push-ups. Um, I don't want to call them girl push-ups. Um, but basically, it's a push-up from the knees. So let's watch um, Kennedy do this from the side. She's going to make sure that her hands are directly. So the first thing I do is have them get in a table. But then they're going to walk their hands out a little bit, bring up their feet. She's got to get in a position where she's hollowed. And her hands are directly. They're going to be a little bit wider than her shoulders for these. So they're going to pull out, but they're not going to be out in front of her shoulders. So you don't want the hands out in front. You want them directly in line with the shoulders. Her head is going to stay lifted. Stomach is tight, and she's going to lower her chest to the floor. Go ahead. And up. Chest to the floor. 
and up. Kennedy, stop that, please. Ready, go. Chest to the floor and up. Let's watch Azalea do it. She'll do it forward. Okay. So you can see where her arms are. They're a little bit wider than her shoulders, but they're directly in line with her shoulders. Her head is in line. Her stomach is squeezed. She's going to lower her chest to the floor and up. Lower her chest to the floor, maintaining that hollow and up. Lower her chest to the floor and up. Um, the main thing is they don't want to hold their breath when they do things, so that's why they should count every time. When they go down and up, count one, okay? Down and up, count two. They're going to do five. So younger children can do five. If five becomes easy, add on another five and go to ten. If ten becomes easy, add on and go to fifteen. Okay, let's start. Let's just do five. Okay, so they're in their nice tight positions. And ready and go. One, two, three, Slow down, Kennedy. four, five. Good. Now, another way to make this harder is to bring the arms in a little bit. Okay? Um, there is uh, such a push-up as the uh, elbows in push-up, which is harder. It's really going to work their triceps. And that's elbows to the body. So if you watch Kennedy, she has her elbows coming to her ribs and up. This is a great place to start because if they can whip off 25, they're still going to get a good workout of their arms and their core on their knees. Um, let's watch Azalea do a regular push-up in a plank position, straight arm plank. Okay, she's nice and strong. She's going to lower, try to lower her chest to the floor and up. Okay, she's going to do three. Two. Three. Okay, and then Kennedy's going to do two push-ups with her elbows into her ribs. Okay, strong arms. And this is harder. Elbows in and up. Try to keep this tight. Go. Elbows in and up. Okay, it's not easy. It's hard. Okay, but the more push-ups and sit-ups that they do at home, the better, it, it, the stronger their body's going to become. All right, so we did um, jumping jacks, punches, sit-ups. Crunches, crunches sit-ups, and um, modified planks, elbow planks, straight arm planks, and then push-ups um, from the knees, and push-ups in a straight leg plank position, okay? And those are some, some good um, beginner conditioning that what they can do. Another thing they can do is a V-sit or a tuck sit. So um, let's turn and face each other. Okay, put your hands behind and hold a tuck position. And I just want to hold that position and then um, put your hands out in front and balance in the tuck. Okay, lean back a little bit. Is it a little bit? Can you feel it in your tummy muscles? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then come back into that tighter tuck. Now, put your arms out a little bit in a, like a V. Lift your legs up in a pike and hold that position. Strong arms, strong legs. Okay, if a pike is too hard because they don't want to have any arch in their back, Go back to a, a lesser of a tuck, okay? I mean, a, 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 like a 90-degree tuck. So we have tuck all the way and lean back a little bit to make it harder, but keep rounded in the back. Then we have a 90-degree tuck. Then we have a pike. And they want to pull their arms out a little bit to counterbalance, okay? Go back to that modified tuck or the 90-degree tuck and then a full tuck, all right? Now, another thing that they can do is um, when they're in that um, pike position, that V-sit, actually, that, yeah, the pike position, they can lengthen it so that it pulls into a more of a hollow hold. So go back into that, um, the tuck, the modified tuck. Legs up, feet up. Now, lean back a little bit. And eventually what they want to do is they want to go all the way, stretch the legs higher, higher, higher on the legs. Right there. And this is a hollow hold. Okay, that's actually a little bit harder, but that's what they want to work up to. Um, and eventually they'll work hollow rocks. Which one of you can do a hollow rock? Mm -hmm. Do the hollow rock with the arms straight. Okay, this way? Move forward. Okay, Kennedy's going to do a hollow rock. Go ahead, rock on the middle of your back. Rocking, go rock, rock, <laughs> rock. Okay, so can you do a rock with your arms extended? Rock, good, rock, you gotta get up on your back more. Rock, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Okay, those are hollow rocks, but they're a little bit harder. And she's, sorry, and she's gotten um, 
a lot longer. So we gotta get that strength back in her body. Um, we're gonna do um, some back strengthening. So they're gonna lie on their backs. Yeah. I'm sorry, on their bellies. My bad. Okay, they're going to put their arms straight out in front of them. Move out, Kennedy, move back. It's okay, we don't see your legs. Okay, and they're gonna lift up their arms and up their back. Just hold and go back down and put your feet together. Keep your feet squeezed together, lift up. I call these seal lifts and back down. Get your arms out straight. Ready, arch up. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> Just kidding. And back down and lift back up. And back down. Now they're gonna lift up both their arms and their legs. Ready, arch up. Superwoman, and back down. Arch up. It's okay if the legs come apart, but keep the legs straight and back down. Arch up, hold, and come back down. And arch up, and come back down. Put your hands behind your heads, ladies. Now the next one we're gonna do is called backups. Okay, backups. Azalea, can I see you? Back up, honey. Like back up towards the wall. There you go. Okay, hands down. They're gonna do backups. Their fingers are laced and they're gonna lift their um, chest up. Go, lift. One. We're gonna do ten. Go, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then they're gonna take their hands and they're gonna push back onto their knees to round out their back and stretch their back in the opposite way. And go back out. This time, they're gonna lie down on their stomachs. They're gonna do leg ups. They're gonna keep their legs nice and straight and they're gonna lift just their legs, but they don't wanna bend them. They wanna make sure that their leg doesn't bend up, but they lift the whole leg up. Okay, so they're gonna lift their legs up 10 times. Ready, go. One, One. put your legs apart, Azalea. Two, straight legs. Three, four, nice and straight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to stretch out your back. And you guys can stand up. Okay, so. We did a little bit of everything so far. What did we start with? Jumping jacks, punches, punches crunches, sit-ups with partners, push-ups uh, push from the planks on the elbows, planks with straight arms, push-ups um, on the knees, and regular straight, um, straight leg plank push-ups, okay? Um, we just did some back-ups to strengthen their back. We did some leg-ups, which also strengthens the back. Um, and then we also did our tuck sits, holds, and our V-sits. Oh, another easy one, actually go back down and go in a hollow hold. Okay, a hollow hold, they just keep their feet on the floor. And they start with Frankenstein arms sitting up, sit up, sit up, sit up. Rounding the back, they're going to round each vertebrae back till their hands are above their knees and they're just going to hold. And they can sing their ABCs. Go. A, B, Strong C, arms. D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? And then they sit up. So they just tell it for it takes their mind off of what they're doing, gives them something to do. But you can also listen to some cool music. We don't have any music playing in the background right now, which would actually make conditioning more fun. So make a good playlist and you can put on some music while you're doing the conditioning. Um, the last thing we're gonna do is a crab position and their fingers need to face their feet. Their feet are gonna be shoulder distance apart. Knees are tracking straight ahead and they're gonna push up into a crab position and they're gonna do dips. When they do their dips, they're bending their arms in the back, straightening. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. 
bend and straighten. They're working their triceps. Let's do uh, 15. Go ahead, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Then they sit on their bottom. They pull their arm across to stretch their shoulders and this way and then to stretch that tricep muscle they're going to put it behind their back reach through their elbow and pull and then pull the other way and that's it for beginning conditioning i hope you enjoyed it thank you to miss kennedy and miss azalea for being here today bye everybody bye.